This is the multi-loop bow. You can make it super quick. It's super easy to make. And you definitely want to use gum paste when you make it. You can roll it a lot thinner than you can fondant. And the tie loops will help it, the loops actually dry more quickly and really hold their shape nicely. So let's do this. I've already rolled out my gum paste nice and thin. Right before you want to emboss it, you'll pick it up a little bit and make sure it's not going to stick. I put a little bit of powdered sugar underneath there, really lightly. I'm going to get a impression mat. This is a Paisley pattern here. And obviously two sides, feel of it, make sure that the raised side is up. And just lay that over the top. And make sure you don't roll back and forth and make a muddiness to your pattern. You'll just do a nice smooth walk it over, good firm pressure the whole way. And then pick that up. Pattern looks nice. And we can make it pop even more by adding a little bit of super pearl dust. Take the excess off a little bit there. Now I'm going to get my five wheel cutter. And I have them about three quarters of an inch to an inch wide, whatever your preference is on your bow. And I'm just going to do one good firm roll. Again here. Just kind of try to line that up the best you can. And now we're really getting ready to go. I'm going to get my two wheel cutter and just use my flat blade here. Square off the ends. And then I'm going to make each strip about three and a half to four inches long, your preference. I'm going for about 16 loops would be ideal. Let me tell you this, it's always better to have more loops than less because there's nothing worse than being ready to put your bow together and darn I wish I had one more loop to fill that spot. I'd rather have to throw a couple loops away that I don't need than be a couple short. So here's how easy it is. We've got our nice embossed pearlized pattern. I'm going to turn this upside down in my hand. A little drop of water on my fingertip goes right there and I'm going to roll it over on my thumb and then set it on its side to dry. You'll want to puff it a little bit to make it nice and round. And this is where you can really just start to rock and roll. A little drop of water on your finger. Look how fast these go. Puff. Loop. So we're going to roll through about 16 loops here. And let those dry. Now I've got some made ahead of time over here. So I won't waste any more of your time doing this. Just let those dry 30, 45 minutes at least. Overnight's great. Here I've got some that have already dried. If you'd like to, you can see the difference. If you'll zoom in here, these I left flat and these I pinched a little bit. So the way you would do that is just pinch down like that. Either way is fine. This has a little bit more of a squarish type look to it. And this has a little bit more of a, a frilly girly look to it. So this will be good. You'll notice, I've mentioned before that you can steam the sugar off. So if you'll zoom in close on this, you see that sugar there? I've got my steamer going over here and all I'm gonna do is wave this right in front of it. Not too much liquid on this. You don't want it getting soggy. But look how quickly. See, it gives it a little bit of a shine and it makes the sugar go away. Not too, too much in front of there. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start to make our bow. So what I like to do is set six loops on the cake. Two, three, four, five, six. Now what I'm gonna do is kind of arrange these so they're evenly spaced. Okay? And then that's when you can go back. If they're nice and fresh, you can just use water to adhere them, just with a little dot of water there. And if you have let them dry overnight or longer, you can use a little bit of clear piping gel and just put a little bit of glue there and stick it right back down where it was. All right, so six loops on the bottom. All right, last one. Okay, now the second row is a little bit easier. It's really not rocket science. You can just kind of start laying them in there as you go. A little bit of, oops, I didn't get that one down good. A little bit of piping gel there to hold it in place. And you're just kind of going in between each of the loops that are underneath. Okay. Filling in. If you find they're not supporting, you can always move them in a little bit more to support them. All right. Again, piping gel for glue.
So you're gonna to get to the point where you're just dropping the last couple in there to round it out. That looks nice. If you didn't wanna steam each individual loop, you can always take your steamer right here at the end and give the whole thing a nice little polish. Hold it far enough away that you're not getting it really wet. But that gives it a nice little shine. And that's the multi-loop bow.